E70. This video provides training on how to use the COP Assist. The training you are about to receive is specific to the E70 and is therefore not transferable to other devices. Coughing is the body's way of clearing the upper airways and throat. It's an important reflex to clear irritants, mucus or food and drink that has accidentally gone down the wrong way. Many people with neurological conditions have a weak cough because of breathing muscle weakness. This puts them at greater risk of getting a chest infection and needing to be in hospital. A cough is made up of three stages. The inspiratory phase, this is the ability to take a deep breath in to fill the lungs. The compression phase, the throat closes over to build up pressure and resistance in the lungs. Expiratory phase, the muscles around our ribs, abdomen and diaphragm contract causing a fast expel of air or cough as we know it. A weak cough can be caused by weak muscles, small lung breaths, a stiff and inelastic chest wall, or difficulty coordinating the stages of a cough. This can put the person at greater risk of getting a chest infection and needing to be in hospital. The cough assist helps to loosen, move and clear secretions to try and stop and reduce the risk of getting a chest infection. It helps with taking a deep breath in to increase the amount of air in the lungs. It then quickly switches to a negative pressure, which sucks the air out of the lungs, just like a cough, taking any secretions with it. Ideally, the cough assist should be used twice a day in the mornings and evenings. It can also be used throughout the day if you feel or hear secretions on your chest. Plug the power cord into the back of the device and into a mains power outlet. The grey sponge filter protects the device from dust and debris. Please avoid covering or blocking the filter. The E70 has a detachable battery. You can press the button on the back of the battery to display green LED lights showing the available charge. A fully charged battery provides approximately three to four hours of power. The battery will automatically charge when connected to mains power. Additional attachments can be used with the device through the ports below. However, these are not routinely used. An SD card is stored in the side of the device and data can be downloaded if required. To set the device up, connect a bacterial filter to the air outlet. This protects from any cross-contamination. At the other end, attach the mask you'll be using. Press the power button to turn the device on. The cough assist will enter a standby mode, which is shown in the centre of the screen. The settings are displayed and have been set and locked by the Home NIV team, so you cannot accidentally change them. The settings and number of coughs are specific to the individual. If you are unsure, please contact the Home NIV team who will help you. You can access the menu to adjust things like screen brightness and alarm volume. Here, you can also access the alarm log, which helps the Home NIV team solve any issues with the device. Some people require assistance to hold the mask over their nose and mouth. Others may be able to do it themselves. Please check with the individual to ensure they are comfortable throughout. It's important to make sure a good seal is made throughout. This can be done by creating a C shape with your hand. To start treatment, press therapy. You will notice the machine gets louder as it prepares and a graph will appear on screen showing the number of breaths and coughs. There are different modes on the cough assist which may change your starting position. Some people are able to trigger the machine to start the cycle, whilst others require it to run automatically if it takes too much effort. If you are able to, take a deep breath in to start the cough assist. Some people find it helpful to watch the screen so they know when to cough. The Home and IV team will advise you on the number of times to do this. You may need to do another cycle if you feel there are secretions on your chest to clear. The cough assist should not be used to clear food in the event of choking, as you can push the food further down the wrong way into your lungs. If connecting to a tracheostomy, use a catheter mount or tracheostomy connector. If the tracheostomy has a cuff, it's important to inflate it to reduce the amount of air leaking from the site. Use a catheter mount to connect the cough assist and press the start-stop button to start treatment.
you can stop the cough assist at any time by pressing the standby button. This may be needed because of secretions or synchronicity problems such as your timing with the machine. We can set multiple profiles on the E70. Some people benefit from slightly higher pressures during a chest infection if they have lots of secretions to clear. To change between presets, press Settings, Modify, then use the navigation keys to scroll between the options available. Select OK to confirm. You will notice the number in the top left hand corner changes to match the preset selected. Select Finish to return to the main screen. If you have a chest infection, it's important you keep using the cough assist. You can increase your use of the cough assist to several times a day, but never for more than 30 minutes in any one session. The Home and IV team have assessed every person with a cough assist to make sure it's safe to be used. However, if anything changes, it's important you let us know. Contraindications to treatment include hemoptysis or coughing up blood, facial, skull or oral trauma and surgery, acute lung injury or pneumothorax, tracheobronchial fistula, bullous emphysema, vomiting and cardiovascular instability. The grey dust filter should be checked every week and washed when dusty. The circuit should be replaced every month to prevent growth of bacteria and more frequently if you have a chest infection or increased secretion load. Tracheostomy circuits may be required to be changed more frequently. Use tissues to remove any secretions coughed into the mask between cycles and rinse in warm soapy water daily.